In this clip, we're going to be talking about the effects of presets in After Effects. To access the Effects and Presets panel, we can go to Window. And down here, you'll see that you have the Effects and Presets panel. And the keyboard shortcut is Control-5. I'm going to go ahead and left click on that. And you can see that my Effects and Presets panel has now appeared on my screen. So right off the back, the panel would have its own menu like we talked about in our first lesson. And we also have a Search tab. So if you already know what effect you need, you can simply search it on your search box and you will find it right away. Inside the effects and presets panel, we have a large amount of different effects and they're separated either by creator or by category. At this point, it would be really good for you to go over the effects and presets panel as well as the stock effects that come with After Effects. Now those effects might not seem as powerful as your third party plugins like Element 3D and whatnot, but they are extremely useful. So it will depend on what application you're coming from or what you're looking to do in After Effects. There's some effects that you might not even use at all. So I would strongly suggest to sit down and start playing with these. When you read the category, for example, the audio effects, so when we break down the audio category, you'll see that there's a few different options. If you're not familiar with audio edition, you might not know what these are for. And if you're not sure what they're for, you can always do some research or start playing with them. Same goes for the other ones, like the blur and sharpen. There's a bunch of different blurs in here. So the way we would apply an effect would be, we would select the layer we want to apply the effect to. We would go to the effects and presets panel and we would double click the effect we want to apply. Once the effect is applied, a new window will be open, which is the effects control panel. In the effects control panel, you will find the effect that you're applying to the layer you're applying to. If at this point I go to my layer, new, solid, and I create a solid, you will see that this solid does not have any effects under the effects controls panel. But once I left click on my original plate, you will find that the CC cross blur is applied and we see it in the effects controls panel. There's a few other ways we can apply an effect to a layer. We can select the layer, go to our effects menu, left click, and you'll see that the categories will appear on our drop down menu. For now, I'm gonna to go to generate and I'm gonna select this fractal. You can see that right off the back, this effect is creating a complete new look on our solid. Inside this effect, we have some new properties which are completely different from the other effects. Some effects may also have the option to add keyframes to the properties, like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and play with this one. I'm gonna set a keyframe on my first frame. I'm gonna go a few frames after, and I'm gonna change this setting to something else. And you can see that we now have a completely new look on our layer. I'm going to click U on my keyboard so I can see my keyframes. So if I go back to my first frame, you'll see that they'll start to change. We can also apply different effects to one layer. For example, in this solid, I have previously applied a fractal. And now I'm going to apply a Gaussian blur. And this time, I'm going to left click and drag the Gaussian Blur to the layer. And that's a different way we can apply an effect to a layer. As I mentioned before, every effect would have different properties. For example, this Gaussian Blur. If I start bumping up the blurriness level, you'll see that I have a completely new look based on two effects that are just applied to a simple solid. To delete an effect, we can simply select the effect and hit the delete button. We can also add and change the order of our effects. For example, if I go to my effects and presets panel, and if I go to my generate category, and this time I'm gonna apply a checkerboard. You can see that the checkerboard is applied. And this effect has its own properties, like a color, opacity, width, and I can start playing with these settings. 
so I can get whatever look I make going for. If we want to change the order of an effect, we can simply left click and drag to position it prior or after any other effect so we can change the order as we want. So you can apply multiple effects and you can always be playing with the order of the effects in your layers. As always remember that if a property has a stopwatch, those properties can be keyed. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and set a few keyframes for these effects. So I'm setting up keyframes for both effects. And I'm changing them over time. I'm gonna hit U on my keyboard so I can see my keyframes. And now you can see that I have an animation of some effects. So these effects by themselves are creating some motion graphics without the need of bringing any outside elements into After Effects. So the sky is the limit as long as you have a great imagination you will always be able to put the right effect in the right place. If you create an effect that you're going to be using multiple times and you don't want to be changing these settings every time you create an effect, for example if I thought this effect was very awesome and I wanted to save it and I wanted to use it every time I'm creating something new, I can simply do that. And the effect would be saved with these keyframes. What do I mean? If I select both of these effects and I go to my animation menu, you'll see that right away we have an option that would say save animation preset. If I left click on that, a new window will be open and After Effects will ask us where do we want to save this animation preset. In this case I'm going to save it in my desktop and I'm going to name it Preset and I'm going to hit save. Now here After Effects will tell us you're saving this animation preset outside of a place where it normally saves them and it just wants to know you're okay with it. So I'm going to hit OK. Once that's done, and if I'm working on a new project, and let's say I wanted to apply that same effect to this one layer, I would select the layer, and then I would go to Animation, Apply Animation Preset, and then After Effects will open a window. In, my, in this case, it's opening the window that I recently used to save my preset, which is my desktop. And in here, you'll see an effects file from After Effects. So if I double click that, the effect will be applied automatically. And if I hit U on my keyboard to see my keyframes, you'll see that that effect not only holds the information of the effects and the order, but it also holds the keyframes and the timing. So these type of practices will save you a lot of time if you're working in projects that require the same effects multiple times. So you don't have to be recreating the effects every single time. Now this is something that you might not start doing right away, but if you create an effect that you like, for example, you wanna make some cool smoke and you like it, go ahead and save that effect. That way next time that you wanna create something with smoke, you start from that and you don't start from scratch. You might be able to change these settings all the time and you can always change the settings and you can always save that effect again. So every time you're working in an effect, for example, if you're creating fire, not only you will be able to play with the settings and get different results, but you will also get familiar with the settings and you probably get better results every single time. I hope this gave you an idea of how to apply effects and presets and how to save them in your computer and how you can export them and how to reuse them. I hope you were able to learn something from this. Please make sure you hit that like button so I can continue to make more videos and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you in the next clip.